Alright, so I want to talk about Wii Sports, but I just need to do something real quick before that. Yeah, ever since I got banned from the local bowling alleys, I've just been dying to throw a bowling ball into a live crowd. Uh, but yeah, Wii Sports! With the somewhat recent announcement of Nintendo Switch Sports being the next sequel to the series, I've decided to take a look back at the original games and remember what made them so great, and that way I can complain even more when the new game comes out. I mean, seriously, what are these things? I prefer my sports game playable characters to have arms chopped off, thank you very much. Way back in the ancient times of 2006, the world was blessed with the arrival of one of gaming's greatest games of all time, Wii Sports. Originally bundled in with the Wii console as a pack-in title, Wii Sports has grown to become a huge icon in the history of gaming and is one of the best-selling games of all time. Mostly because it was a pack-in, but we'll just ignore that. The whole point of Wii Sports was to show off the capabilities of Nintendo's newest console at the time, the Wii, and its use of motion controls. Nowadays, it's not completely uncommon to find games that require some amount of motion controls, but in 2006, this was a foreign idea. In the long run, I would personally say that Wii Sports did a great job in representing the Wii's motion control capabilities. They aren't super realistic, but they get with the job done and they work better than what you would expect. I mean, most of the games that use motion controls just require you to shake the Wii mode a whole lot anyway, and Wii Sports no exception. Now, with Wii Sports being a pack-end title for the Wii, naturally it was going to be most people's first Wii game that they would play, and so it needed to make really great first impressions. And well... It doesn't get better than that, guys. I don't know a single person who doesn't like this game. And if you don't like this game, then you need to seek help because there is something medically wrong with you. Could be terminal if left unchecked. Upon booting up Wii Sports, you were met with the classic moment of having to press both the A and B buttons at the same time before you were brought to one of the most legendary lineup of sports you will ever see. You thought the Olympics was great? No, wrong. Wii Sports. You've got tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. All unique and different enough from each other to showcase different uses of the Wiimote and its use of motion controls, all while giving players a varied experience. Something I am worried about with the upcoming game. But that's future me's job to complain about that. All the sports offered up here are iconic. Everybody has played a game of tennis by waving their hand around like a maniac, everyone has thrown the ball back into the crowd during bowling, and everyone has gotten mad at not understanding the shot meter in golf. It's just a staple of the game. The first game in the lineup is tennis. One of the more simpler games in my opinion, you play a game of doubles tennis with your Miis and all you have to do is swing the Wiimote at the correct time and you'll get the ball across. Very little skill is involved but you are able to get some pretty fun volleys back and forth with your opponent if you are playing well enough. Although this is simple, games do go by fast enough that it is enjoyable to sit down and play through multiple at a time, especially if you are playing with someone else in the room. And although I do say that there is very little skill involved, that's not entirely true. You can get better and improve your game. Learning exactly when to hit the ball to get it to where you want it to go is something that you can really only learn through continuously playing the game over and over, and it is satisfying to learn that and get better at the game. Next up in the line is baseball, one of the more involved games considering that you have to play both on the batter side and the pitcher side. In Wii Sports, this game gets stripped down a lot to simplify playing, but it kinda works in this game's favor. Once you hit, depending on how long it takes for the other team to pick up your ball, that is how many bases you'll run. So when on defense, you really don't have to worry about playing outfield, only pitching. And while this may seem like a bad thing, I think this adds a lot of charm to the game. Watching the Miis pick up the ball, stare straight into the camera and say single or double or just whatever is honestly one of the funniest and most iconic things about this game. When you're batting, it's pretty much just make sure you swing the Wiimote at the correct time and for pitching, you're just swinging the Wiimote to throw the ball. Nothing too complicated, but it is one of the more involved sports overall, and it is pretty fun and there's a little bit of strategy that you can have, especially if you play the game to get good enough to bunt the ball and make sure that you know when to hit it, you know, all that stuff. Next sport in the lineup is bowling, probably the most iconic in the original set. Line up your shot and knock over as much pins as possible. Next sport. Nah, I'm kidding, there's so much more to bowling than just that. Of course the main focus is obviously to line up and knock over the pins, but you can rotate and get different angles, and you can even put some spin on your shot if you're good enough. This is a great game to show off some of the subtleties in the Wiimote motion control capabilities, and I like that. Even though I almost never use the advanced techniques and just pretty much always line up straight on and try to knock over as much pins that way. Even though this may be one of the more simple games, it is definitely one of the most replayable and consistently enjoyable to go back to and replay. 
trying to get better scores and more strike, and just overall improving your skill is really satisfying and fun. Moving on to the next sport for real this time, we've got golf. Depending on what club you're using will depend on how far the ball will hit. There is a gauge meter off to the side, and if you swing your Wiimote too hard, it'll go crazy and your ball won't hit straight. I never really figured this thing out as a kid playing the game, and even now I still don't 100% get the shot meter. But golf can be a really fun sport to play in this game, especially if you've got friends here and you can see just how bad and crazy some of your shots will end up. There are 9 total holes in the game that you can play through, and the cool thing about them is that they're all actually remakes of the original NES game Golf. And finally, for the last sport in this game, Boxing. This is the only sport that actually requires you to use the nunchuck attachment for the Wiimote. This allows you to box with both of your hands. Remember this because we will be coming back to that point. This is definitely one of the most involved sports in the game, but in turn is one of the most fun to play. Getting to just wail and punch on some of these helpless opponent me's is so fun. I love getting to watch how some of their bodies will ragdoll after being knocked out. The more you win, the harder your opponents will get, but at the beginning when you have little skill level, it's a slaughterhouse against them. You can dodge by moving the Wiimote and nunchuck from side to side, and you can hit high or low based on how high your hands are. And you can even pull off some hook punches that hit your opponent from the side. Overall, there's a lot of movement options for you and how you can attack opponents, and mastery of these options is really fun and satisfying to learn. Overall, the original Wii Sports game and its five sports are really fun and solid, but alongside the sports is a training mode where you can do little skill-based mini-games to help improve in each individual sport. These are target practices, variants of the original sport, or playing segments of each sport to get better at. These are all fun and definitely worth checking out. But yeah, that's about all we would see of Nintendo's generic tech demo sporting titles for a few years. That is, of course, until... In 2009, Wii Sports Resort was released upon the world showing us that even on vacation you can beat up hundreds of innocent people and burn some calories. I absolutely love this game, so naturally there's going to be some bias in what I say, but when I say that this game is a solid 11, maybe 12 out of 10 game, it's not my opinion, but rather an objective fact that if you disagree with is punishable by law in at least 53 states in the US. This game is a true sequel to the original in nearly every way possible. The obvious upgrade is the number of sports going from the original 5 in Wii Sports to now being 12 in Wii Sports Resort. Swordplay, wakeboarding, frisbee, archery, basketball, table tennis, golf and bowling return, power cruising, canoeing, cycling, and air sports. And these are just sport categories. Under each of these is at least two or three options of different things that you can do. For example, air sports you can either skydive or fly around the island in a free roaming fashion. Or in frisbee, you can either do target practice with a dog or play frisbee golf. There's just so much to do in this game. I'm not going to be able to go into full detail with this game and go over every single individual sport like I did with the first one just from how much there is, but I will try and touch on a few key points and things of note. Like how this game adds continuity to the Wii Sports franchise. Every sport and activity in this game takes place somewhere on or around the main island in the game, Woohoo Island. This island is so amazing and well crafted that I would go as far as to kill to be able to visit here in real life. So be careful if the opportunity is ever offered to me, because no one is safe then. The best way to experience and explore the island is the island flyover mode since you're able to fly a plane over and around the island to explore different landmarks and areas. It is arguably one of the best modes in this game, and probably what most people remember about Wii Sports Resort. Another way to explore the island is through the cycling mode where you can race around different tracks that loop and go through the island showing off different areas each time. Nearly any sport that you choose will give you a different experience somewhere on Woohoo Island, and that's what I love about this game. It feels like one big connected game and less like a tech demo of sports, although it is still that. Wii Sports Resort is mostly a way for Nintendo to once again show off a piece of motion controlling technology, the Wii Motion Plus accessory. It's that white cube that you have to plug into the bottom of the Wiimote where the nunchuck would go, or eventually Wiimotes would just have this built into them. This allows for the Wiimote to have a more accurate motion sensing capability and can give players more than just swing the Wiimote around like crazy simulator. I've got to say that the Wii Motion Plus definitely works better than the original Wiimote by itself. The sports are way more fun to play this time around with the better motion controls. Unlike the first game where you pretty much just swung the Wiimote around for every sport in Resort, you actually do different motions correlating to what the sport you are playing. For example, in Swordplay you have to move the Wiimote around like it's a sword. 
and for canoeing you have to move it around like it's the paddle. And for skydiving you move the Wiimote around like a lifeless corpse falling at terminal velocity just like if you were doing the real thing. A few of my favorite sports is pickup basketball where you play on teams of 3 vs 3, table tennis, sword play showdown where you fight through hordes of opponents, and of course island flyover. I love all the sports in this game, don't get me wrong, but these are the ones that I would come back to and play the most. Like I said before, bowling and golf make their return, but with some changes. Bowling doesn't change too much, more or less just accuracy to the controls, but golf adds a whole nother set of 9 holes and keeps the original holes from Wii Sports. A couple of the sports in the game require you to use a nunchuck similarly to how boxing would in the original. A few of these are like archery where you can use it to simulate pulling the bow back, and another one is power cruising where you use it to act like the handles on the jet ski. Now I could go on and on about this game all day honestly, but I have to stop myself at some point. If you have somehow never experienced this game, I would highly recommend going and checking it out. But it's very unlikely that you haven't played this game since it's only the third best selling game on the Wii, which is one of the best selling consoles of all time. Overall, there's a ton to do in this game and the amount of polish and charm they added to this game compared to the original is insane. This game is aged like fine wine if you ask me. It still holds up extremely well and is really fun and well made even to this day. Which is something that this next game can't really say for itself. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that game existed. And if you did, you probably forgot about it. Wii Sports Club was a game released... Yeah. This game released weirdly. Let me explain this first. The game is a remake of the original Wii Sports title. So the number of sports has dropped down from 12 in Resort back to just 5. Which is fine, because at least they have released high quality remakes of all the 5 sports at once, right? They released the game with all 5 sports in it, right? They didn't do that, did they? In 2013, Wii Sports Club was released with just tennis and bowling. At the end of 2013, golf was released. And finally, in mid-2014, baseball and boxing were finally released and the game was complete. I still remember when this game came out and how excited I was for a new Wii Sports game, only to realize there was two sports. There was only two sports at launch. This is borderline criminal. This was a horrible release strategy and ultimately hurt the game in the end. But thankfully Nintendo has learned from this and won't be releasing their unfinished sports game and then adding, I don't know, golf later on after initial release. A second free update that lets you enjoy golf will launch this fall. Oh come on! Wii Sports Club is a weird game in the series focusing more on the online multiplayer, which is cool to get to play the original Wii Sports game but online and with a better coat of paint over it. And when people played this game when it first came out, it was fun! I played the heck out of tennis online. The game has completely updated controls and they're the best in the series by far. They mimic real life movements better than Resort even could, and for sure better than the original game. But with everything this game gets right, it gets much much more wrong. See, I really want to like this game, I do honestly, I really do want to like this game. With the updated graphics that look better than anything in the series up to date, online play, better improved motion controls, this game should be great. But you have to either individually buy sports or purchase a day pass that allows you to play all the passes, but only for that day. So after a quick visit to the eShop, I can finally play the game I have had downloaded on my Wii U for years now. So with Wii Sports Club being more or less a remake of the original Wii Sports, there's really not much I have to add on terms of like how enjoyable each game is. Obviously, being on a new console, each game does have some tweaks to make them a little bit different functionality, but at the end of the day, it is still pretty similar to the original game. However, two of the sports have added completely new gimmicks and functionalities requiring the Wii U gamepad. Baseball being the first game that they added the Wii U gamepad functionality to, you are now allowed to aim where you want using the Wii U gamepad instead of using motion control. I think this is much much more fun because it feels more involved when you're on the defense side of things. Also when you're in the outfield and a batter hits the ball, you are able to look up using the gamepad and you can actually catch the ball to get the out. It really adds a lot more to do when you're on defense and I really enjoyed that, it made the game a lot more fun than the original Wii Sports version. But secondly, Golf has added the Wii U gamepad into the mix. 
This is easily the most functionally different game from its original counterpart, and this was a big seller of Wii Sports Club. You put your gamepad in risk of being stepped on by laying it on the floor, and you get to use it to act like your ball. And then you use the Wiimote like a golf club, and it surprisingly works really well. I'm impressed at just how accurately they managed to replicate actually swinging a golf club like this. I could see a lot of people hating the sport if they haven't actually golfed before, but if you are somewhat familiar on how to swing a golf club, you probably will enjoy this game. I typically haven't liked golf in the Wii Sports games before this, but here, it is probably my favorite sport. On top of the completely revamped and over-convoluted controls, they added yet another new set of 9 holes to play, and still brought back the original holes from Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Overall, I feel like they put the most thought and effort into this game mode compared to the other sports that are in this package. Now, while baseball and golf have updated mechanics using the Wii U gamepad, bowling and tennis act pretty much the same just with improved controls. But the last sport in the game is boxing, and I really want to talk about boxing. You see, boxing also got a controller update, but unfortunately, it is for the worst. Originally, I had told you to remember that how in the first game you were able to plug a nunchuck in to use both of your hands to box. Well, if you want to do that in Wii Sports Club, you need two Wiimotes and I am too lazy to go get two Wiimotes. So if you don't have two Wiimotes, you are stuck using just the one, and it is so lame. And I don't know what they did, but boxing feels so slow and stale this time around. When you knock someone out, they don't ragdoll like before, they just have a set animation that plays where they fall on the ground. Everything feels slow and stiff. I had the least enjoyment out of this mode, and would definitely say that it is the only sport that is objectively worse than how it was in the original game. Other than boxing, however, I would say that Wii Sports Club is a solid game and is the definitive way to play most of these sports. But the game was ruined and bogged down by the release strategy and subscription model to play the game. The lack of an online community doesn't help either, but that's really not Nintendo's fault. If you are one of the four people that own a Wii U, I would recommend giving this a go. The day pass for all the sports is only a couple of dollars, and I'm pretty sure that the game is free to download, so if you have nothing else better to do, it's worth checking out. But in terms of the Wii Sports series, it's the weakest. Like I've mentioned, a sequel to the Wii Sports games is being released soon with Nintendo Switch Sports, and at the moment, I have pretty mixed feelings about the game. I'm excited that Nintendo is acknowledging the Wii series of games and giving Wii Sports a new game for the Switch. But just from the trailers of the game, it looks like a lot of what gave the original game so much charm and character is missing. I am excited and looking forward to play the game for myself when it releases, but seeing as they were going for the similar release strategy to Wii Sports Club, I don't think it's off to a great start. But yeah, that's the Wii Sports series up until now. I had a lot of fun getting to revisit these older games and remember what initially made them so great. Like I had said multiple times by now, if you have a Wii or Wii U and somehow you haven't played or experienced these games before, I would highly recommend going out and giving at least one of them a try. I mean, it's either that or go outside and play an actual sport, and honestly, I think we all know what the better choice here is. <laughs>